Uh, thrilled. I mean, thrilled for the opportunity that Scott and Ernie and all these guys have given me. Um, you know, I'm blessed to be in the position that I am, you know, as an active player um, and now an active assistant coach. It's uh, it's an honor. Um, it's something that I've, I've worked for and that I've and I've earned. So I feel good about that. But uh, the Wizards have been great and I'm just super blessed with this opportunity. Yeah, I don't I don't know anybody else that's going through this uh, situation right now. Um, I have talked to I did talk to Sue Bird two days ago, um, just because I know she has Becky Hammond's number. So I wanted to get in contact with her um, as soon as I could, um, because you know I have a lot to learn not only through the coaches here with the Wizards, but other people throughout the league. And I know she's going to be somebody that I can that I can ask questions to, and, and that's what I'm going to do. Oh yeah, I mean I'm a player first. Um, you know this opportunity just came. Um, and, of, of course, I wanted to run with it, but I will 1,000% be back playing with the Mystics and, and trying to get over that hump and get a championship. I haven't yet. That's why I, I just got her number. So, um, no, she certainly is a trailblazer and, and was not only as, you know, as a coach now but as a player. Um, you know, people would ask me who I would compare myself to as a player, and I've always said Becky Hammond. And so, um, you know, I will pick her brain about how she played, and I'll also pick her brain about, about how she's coaching. Oh, well, I, for, I definitely didn't settle. Um, you know, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Um, and so when it came about, you know, I wanted to, to be involved in whatever capacity that I could. Um, you know, overseas, I kind of wanted to take a rest, give my body a rest. Um, but I still wanted to keep myself mentally in the game. And this was this how this landed and came about was, was just perfect for me. Uh, good energy. I mean, good energy, positivity, obviously skill work. Um, I'm a player, so... Um, you know, they're helping me as much as I'm helping them. Um, you know, just basketball conversation and dialogue. Coaching is about relationships. You know, when you play, it's about the relationship you have with the coaches. So I just want to build those relationships the right way, um, earn their trust, and, and skill stuff will take care of itself. These guys are pretty good. It does. You know, we're all about getting to the rim and, and shooting the three. And obviously I have some experience uh, in the three-point game. So I'll try to extend my knowledge the best that I can and you know these guys have been great since day one so I'm just really happy well, they certainly get more competitive than I do um, but you know it's it's all good it's all good fun you know competitive spirit is, is a part of the game and whatever way I can bring that for them to raise their level then I'll do that I'd much rather be playing I know that um, but it's good it, you know it's good to think the game in a different way from a different point of view um, you know, Scott's given me opportunities to coach, you know, the 5-on-5-on-5 five 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 teams in practice. So it allows me to get on the board, kind of put some things together for the guys. Um, but it just gives me, you know, an eye-opening experience to what it's like to be on the other side of the lines. Just even the way that you explain things of having to explain every little part of the play, you know, the timing of things, how to set a man up, you know, the first option, the second option, the third, uh, just things like that. As a player, you can, you can have the feel of it when you're out there. But as a coach, you're the one that has to truly explain everything. I mean, when I was a kid, I thought I was going to be the first WNBA or women's player in the NBA. So, um, you know, this dream has been, you know, a long time coming. Um, but I think the reality kind of set in, especially when I had the opportunity working in summer league with these guys, um, going out in Vegas and really getting a feel for it and loving it. And then just having the conversations I had with, you know, the players, the coaches, just a comfort level and, and just thinking that, hey, this, this might be for me. I think it's all just about learning. Um, you know, learning every day from the other coaches, from the players, um, you know, being a good listener. You know, those guys, they have a lot of smart, wise things to say. And so it's all about a collaboration, about give and take and putting our minds together and, and uh, figuring, figuring things out. Yeah, I mean, that surely plays a part in it. Um, you know, I'm, I've been given a great opportunity, but, you know, you get to me, you get everything that you earn and everything that you work for. And I want young ladies to know that, you know, dream big. Anything is possible um, so long as you put in the work and, and have a passion for what you do.